Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to stop time and have a guy walk on stage inside of DaVinci Resolve 14. So first off, I think we'll start by green screening the guy we want to walk on stage out. So, obviously when this video was recorded it had a green screen, which is very important because by doing that you can remove the background and basically put the guy in any video you want, allowing him to walk out on stage seemingly so while time is stopped. So first off, find the exact frame where a person starts walking out on stage, make a cut there, and then go to the end of your clip, where you want him to stop talking, or you're just finished with that scene. Okay, yeah, we can just go there, perfect. And cut away the rest. So now in order to remove the green screen and make him transparent, we need to go over to the color tab. So on the color tab, take your first node and organize that, and then add in a second node. So I'm going to connect the circle to the circle, and then this will be the final output. And for the alpha, the triangles, we're going to connect that. And we also need an alpha output. If you want a more detailed explanation of how to do green screen, by the way, check one of my recent videos on that, where I actually explain it in a lot more depth. Uh, but anyway, that's the basic setup I use. So now we need to use the qualifier tab here. And I'm going to basically just select, oops, <laughs> you have to be double clicked on the first node, and then you select the green screen, um, and try to get rid of all the screens. So what we can do here is increase the width a little bit, uh, probably lower the saturation requirement, just kind of increasing the range so that we can get rid of all of that green. And maybe we add in a little bit of luminance here. And finally, uh, adding in clean white usually takes care of the edges pretty decently. So you can of course spend as much time on this as you want, but once you're pretty satisfied there, you can go ahead and use it as the clip now. Okay, so let's go back to the edit tab, and uh, we can kind of play the clip, make sure everything's good. Okay, perfect. So now we need to find the clip where we're going to freeze time and have this guy walk in on. So for right now, I'm going to actually move this original clip, the green screen clip, to video track 3, and we're going to have a couple video tracks under it. The first video track is going to be black and white, and then the second video track is going to be um, basically colored. So what's going to happen is the video track 2 is going to fade out, and that's going to mean that the video track left behind is going to be the grayed out one. So kind of giving you a time frozen effect by making everything black and white. Of course, there's different ways you can do it. But before I copy this video over to track 2, I want to make sure that both of the tracks have the slow down effect already set up. And that would be done in video, not audio. So as for the clip where we will stop time at, let's use this one right here, where the person's going to put his hand on the cow's nose. And we'll stop time right around there. So I'm going to make some cuts here and get this footage back towards the start of our timeline. Okay, so I've gone ahead and made a cut where I want the time to freeze up. So right here, where the person's about to put his hand on the cow's nose, I'm going to freeze frame there. Uh, but in order to do this with a smooth transition, rather than just making a cut and literally setting the frame following to completely frozen, uh, we're actually going to do a curve. So to control the retime curve, I'm going to right click on this clip and go to retime curve. And now I'm going to switch from retime frame to retime speed here. Um, so we need the speed to be as close to 0% at this time. And right before there, we're going to have the speed at 100% and it's going to slope down into 1 or 0%. So I'm going to zoom in a lot for this. And we'll add a keyframe with alt left click there. And probably right around here, so we'll also do alt click. And now what I'm going to do is convert both of these points to curve mode. So I'm going to make that a curve and click that to make that a curve as well. Now we want to click on the first point and the right handle and drag this down. So now what's going to happen is the speed is going to slow down very rapidly, though that's probably too much to be honest. So I'm going to drag these curves out to make it a lot more of a smooth transition. And let's see it one more time. Okay, so that's maybe a little too much curve. We'll make it a lot sharper. And just make sure it goes down to 1%, which is basically nothing down there at the bottom. Um, if you don't want it to be 1%, you can always make a cut over here and then 
uh, set that to a frozen frame. And we'll do that in a minute just to show. So let's play this one more time. Okay, hand goes in, and it's going to slow down dramatically. And when it gets here, I will make the cut. And now for this cut, rather than actually having a video clip here, I'm going to go into the color tab. I'm going to right click on the image, and I'm going to choose grab still. And what this will allow us to do is have a frozen frame that we can use in the timeline. So one way of getting this image in the timeline would be to export it and then bring it back in as an image. So I will do that. JPEG image. I'll just call it frame. And simply in the edit tab, drop it back in. And now we can delete this clip and replace it with a frozen frame. So I'll drag this a bit further out. So just make sure that the frozen frame is at least as long as the clip where the guy's going to be talking. And we can go back in now. So now that we have this freeze frame working, we can copy it and move the copy onto video track 2. Now with the audio, we can delete the one on audio track 2 because we only need one copy of the audio playing. So I'm going to lock video track 2 and I'm just going to cut away the audio from a2. And now we need to make the bottom track uh, black and white. So to do that, I'm just showing that it will become black and white. I'll disable video track 2 temporarily. Okay, and now we go over to composite mode and change it to luminosity, which is only going to show the light levels in the scene, basically making it black and white. And now if I re-enable video track 2, you see that it is once again all green and colored. But if I disable it, we go black and white. So now we need to animate the opacity on Video Track 2 to make it fade out and fade into the black and white version, which are just right on top of each other so they're completely seamless. Uh, but before we do that, we should actually add in the sound effect. So I'm going to I'll put the sound effect on Audio Track 2 since we aren't using that anymore. And now we need to sync that up with the actual video. So I'm just going to place it properly in the timeline. So now we need to sync up when the time is frozen with the time stop effect. So let's go ahead and try figuring that out. So I think if I move the time stop effect just a little bit to the left, it should be pretty good. So probably about the time it gets halfway through that effect is where I want the opacity and the video track 2 to be 0%. So in the inspector, I'm going to enable a keyframe by turning this little diamond red left click. And I'm going to set that to 0%. Now we need to go to the starting point where the time is going to start stopping probably right at the start of the sound and add another keyframe set it to 100 percent and now it's going to automatically animate between those two points so let's play it back without sound and of course we also need to take the still frames and change those as well so we can just make that luminosity and we actually don't need a frame on video track 2 so i'm going to disable that so let's go ahead and play it back again and now we're pretty much done. The last thing we need to do is to put the green screen guy into place and let him give a speech. So I'm going to position that probably right about there. Actually a little bit further out. I actually want him to be walking out as the sound effect is ending. So let's actually go ahead and uh, play this and see how it looks. It's time to stop! It's time to stop, okay? Okay, so that's pretty much how you would freeze time inside of DaVinci Resolve and allow a guy to come on stage and give a speech like some of those PSAs you might have seen in the 90s. So, I've been Chris, thanks for watching. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful, and I will see you guys in my future video content.